this is the math shelf that I have in my classroom. For the kindergarten lesson, the beginning, uh, I would introduce them to the uh, awareness of numbers, putting the numbers in along with the quantities. I have them trace the numbers one at a time and place zero means nothing and one one marble and two two marbles so then we introduce to the kindergartners the um, color beads the montessori color beads in the montessori color bead there is a control that i have made so they can punch the color papers and make a punch um you know punch hold uh, bead stairs or they could certainly color the Montessori color. So that is the first basic lesson. And another one comes in the number recognition again. Young three-year-olds or four, we do this zero means nothing. It's called spindle box. We do like one, two. They are, they are counting the quantities and placing it into the boxes. This is an another number recognition work. And similar to this, the same work is this spindle box, which has the spindles like this. They take the quantities and place them there. So once I know that uh, the kindergarten are recognizing the number and the quantities, then I move on to the bead hanging. Uh, game like this they place the counting they count the numbers like the Montessori bead stairs the colored bead stairs one two they place the two and match two with the two so they get the two from this puzzle and get two and place it right there so after this we move on to the teen numbers like 11 to uh, 20 or 11 to 19 the similar to that we match with the numbers after counting like uh, that makes 10 bar plus 1 makes 11 then they hook it 10 bar plus 1 makes 11 so that they go one by one uh, and make all the way from 11 to 19 and uh, we also have a three-part card where they have a whole pictured one and the mute card once they are familiar with one to ten and one, uh, t numbers i would go to the sigwen board sigwen board are look like this Sigwen board. The Sigwen board that I'm showing you is a, a T number Sigwen board where we have the numbers like this and I would introduce them the Sigwen board of T numbers as well as the uh, tens like in the other Sigwen this is the T number Sigwen board and the um, Sigwen, Sigwen board number two looks like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 all the way till 19 asking to put 11 it goes like that and 23 or 25 25 and 20 and 5 that makes 25 that is how the sequin board 2 works and after the sequin board i would i would let them try 100 board they could either try with the uh, control control sheet or without the control sheet once when they can do the 100 board by themselves after that, I would start with them doing some math operations. Like um, this is a one math, one activity that I have for them, like counting by mm, one to ten and writing. So uh, we have a number book for the children, and also the shape book, shape book where they learn about their geometry shapes and. Uh, uh, the children's practice their numbers, three-year-olds practice their uh, one to ten numbers and the older children, the kindergartners usually practice their letters and also the math operations like uh, this, like missing numbers, their addition and multiplication uh, facts. 
they are learning the addition and multiplication facts i usually give them one slip at a time so they can write them using the uh, addition board uh, we have a montessori addition board also this one contains two sets of bead stairs and the addition signs they set up the bead stairs in each corner and they will do just like an example like three, three addition one then they write the number down there so three plus one is four they write they write four down here like the three addition two then they move it and they write three addition two is five so they are getting the abstract idea and they start working on their math facts after the addition math facts i would teach them the subtraction so in montessori we have a subtraction board too or either we could do this way as well with an object um so either way it works they will be having their takeaway equation card like five take away one the answer is four so with that they can um, do their uh, subtraction subtraction operations after thoroughing the subtraction and when they start multiplication we have a multiplication board which goes along with the multiplication calculation and we teach multiplication this is a montessori multiplication board that we use and where we place the cards this is the montessori multiplication board so in here i'm doing the uh, multiplication of two and i take the two from here and slide it in there there is a little slit slide it in there and i need a skittle and i put it right there and two times one two times one i put two beads and i write here the answer is two and next equation two times two two times two and we we add all together so the answer is after two three and four right here and next equation two times three two times three so we need to keep on moving that skittle and adding two beads each just the same sequence we can do multiplication of three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, rest of the numbers and they put them away but when they have learned their multiplication board uh, we could start division so this is the division board in montessori classroom when children have uh, learned their addition and subtraction and multiplication facts we could certainly go into this which is a division board skittles are the divisor and the beads will be the dividend so you can see here an equation one of my student is working on like a division equation 10 divided by 2 so 2 as i said as a divisor 2 right here i teach them as said there are two people and total 10 green apples so they count one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten so they are supposed to give to each one one for you 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 so they need to finish distributing one for each until they both get it equally so they get five for one person so the answer is the quotient will be five because each gets five pieces so that is the way the basic division using the division board in montessori classroom thank you friends thank you for watching bye bye